it's very important that if you're writing your research design for either your school paper your organization for any purpose it's important that you know the type of study so types of studies are very important now there are three divisions of types of studies of course under them there are again subdivisions but majorly you have the observational studies experimental studies and meta-analysis observational studies these are studies where you analyze and observe subjects in their natural settings so your main purpose in this case is to try to describe the relationship and try to identify patterns amidst the participants or the population in their natural setting. So examples of those studies can be cross-sectional studies, the, 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 the case control studies or the cohort studies. We shall explore these ones in a future video, so do not worry. Now you can also do experimental studies. Now this is where you manipulate the variables to determine the cause and effect relationships. Now here you do assign participants different groups. For example, that's applicable in randomized control trials. Let's say you're doing um, a drug trial or a diagnostic kind of research. You may need to then do an exper experimental study. There is meta-analysis that I've added here. It's getting common. So this is where your researchers go and collect findings from many other scholars and then they they come and combine and report it as one single paper now let's dive deep into some of these research studies different types of studies into details now whatever study you're doing it may fall within one of these categories and you should always be able to ask yourself which category does my study fall is it a longitudinal study is it cross-sectional study is it uh, a retrospective study? Is it a prospective study? Is it a qualitative study? Is it a quantitative study? Or it is a mixed study? So it's really very, very important. Now let's dive one by one. In a cross-sectional study, if your study is cross-sectional, you must be able to gather data from your specific population at a particular time. One time without follow-up. So when you go in a community A, interview people, get information about them and go away, and you do not follow them up, that will become a cross-sectional study. But if you go to that place A, and then after six months you go back to that place A again to talk to the people whom you talked to at your baseline, at screening, at the time you began the study, then after two years you go back and again check on them that becomes a longitudinal study where you follow participants over an extended period of time then you can also have a retrospective study so this is where you look at the records or the data set of many many years ago and then you can draw conclusion from that that will become a retrospective study so let's say you go and get lab results that they have been reporting for the last 10 years and then you want to analyze and then report that become retrospective and then there is prospective studies in these studies individuals assess the occurrence of outcomes okay they collect data on exposure and track participants for example a disease outbreak for example covid19 we followed up covid19 the infection rate the transmission rate recovery rate that was a prospective study so you should be asking yourself where does your study fall then you have qualitative versus quantitative qualitative studies those are studies where we are collecting non-numerical data for example in interviews when you ask somebody and then they just verbally uh, give you information that become qualitative there is no numerical data attached to them but if you ask somebody that okay uh, how much did you make last month okay what is your cgpa please okay um how much does that car cost those will become quantitative because they are giving you real values real numerical values now there are those studies that can combine both the quantitative and then a qualitative approach those are called mixed studies so in mixed studies we are saying that you collect two types of data for example you may want to enter to check out the performance of university students based on that cgpa so cgpa would be numerical data 
Then again, you'd want to further go ahead and find out what are the likely reasons for the observed CGPA by interviewing them. Then when you interview them, they will give you non-numerical data, which is qualifies for qualitative. So that will become a mixed method. Now, uh, as soon as you have identified the type of method that you want to use in your study, it's important, therefore, to get participants and you should know which method you will use to sample participants. So make sure you watch this next video so that you know clearly the sampling methods available and which one can work best for you in your study so that you can write your research paper very well. Thank you. Like the video. Put your question in the comment section.